Yo, what's going on, y'all, man? It's your boy Chase Vibes back with another video. Uh, as you guys can see from the title, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a beat for Real Boston Richie. I've been listening to him heavy recently. This is obviously going to be Detroit inspired. Y'all are eating up the last tutorial that I dropped, so you know I got to come back with another good one. Uh, this is completely from scratch. Uh, I made the melody and the drums, so I'm going to go ahead and break down how I did everything, kind of show you guys like the theory to go ahead and go about it. So yeah, let's just dive right into it. <laughs> All right, so the first thing that I went ahead and did was actually come up with this like bass piano pattern. So I already has some bounce to it. It's real open. After that, I wanted to go ahead and like create a melody for it. So I went ahead and opened up another piano. This is what we got. Just something real simple. It's just hitting on D sharp. That's the scale that we're in is D sharp minor. We're at 188 BPM. You typically want to have these at a higher BPM, like 180 through like 200, or at a lower BPM, like 100 through like 100 and like five or something like that. So far, we have this. It's real open. Hard. So, next up after that, I wanted to add some strings to it. Uh, so, I went ahead and went into contact. And I got these strings right here from Session Strings. It's just the stock ones. This is what we got. Just real simple. Then I felt like it needed like a cool brass pattern. So I went ahead and went into Contact right here. Uh, went into session horns and then I went over to uh, the brass selection, the pattern I went ahead and played. And I knew that I was going to drop these down like another octave just to create it like a lower tone, but I didn't like how that sounded. So I went ahead and just bounced it like that. And then I turned it into a wave file. So we have this. What I did was just chop up our low part right here and I just pitched it down an octave. So we got this. And then that, dun, 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 that stab right there is at the same uh, octave. And then over here, just hitting real low. So all together, so what we got so far. And it's not that noticeable, but it's basically there as ear candy and you can kind of like still feel it. So after that, I needed like one more like melody to kind of like make up for everything. Just have like a nice fast motion to it. So I went ahead and went into Analog Lab. I got this preset right here. Uh, it's called Plasma. I don't know what bank it's from. I don't know why Analog Lab does this, but the preset's called Plasma. Uh, this is the pattern that I played. Real fast pace. So all together, this is what we got with these. And I went ahead and pitched this down one octave, our melody. But then for the second part of our hook, I have it pitched back up. All right, and then I felt like it needed a texture to it. So I went ahead and went into a one shot kit that I'm working on. Uh, it's not finished. I really don't know when I'm gonna be finished with it, but I got this texture called Underwater Bubbles. This is what it sounds like. I felt like this was just a nice touch to it. And then last but not least for the melody, you know I had to add that bell. And this is a bell from Super Mario, shout out to him. I just went ahead and put it in the key, D sharp, but I believe it was in the key of like G or whatever. So all together, this is what we got. Just like that. And then for the arrangement, you guys already know if you've been watching my tutorials, I already arranged my loops ready just like this. I have an eight bar intro right here. And then I have a 16 bar hook. Over here, I have a 16 bar verse, and then I have an eight bar bridge. And then how I keep the loop more interesting, cause I already arrange it, um, just ready to go. 
I have everything kind of in the intro sometimes or I'll add it in over like here, the second part over by the uh, first part of the hook, second part of the hook. And then I open everything up for the verse typically. So we got this and I forgot to mention, we got the, you know what I'm saying? We got the mug bass. Just following the piano notes. Damn. So the intro. In the second part of the hook, you know, I raise this melody up an octave just to create some variety. And then for the verse, I bring everything back down an octave. I go ahead and take out our strings, I open it back up. Keep it just like that. And then for our drums, this is what I got for the drums. Ugh. Mm -mm. Hard for the 808. This is what we got. It's just hitting, it's just following the root bass notes of the piano. And it's a quick little tip for bounce. As you guys can see, I have these little notes right here at the velocity off to so that way it holds the 808. I got that little trick from my boy Jackie. Shout out to him. Next up, I went ahead and added this bell. It's also, you also make sure you put your perks in the key of like your loop and everything. Make sure everything's up to par. I have it hitting on D sharp where it hits on D sharp. And then whenever our bass notes change to E, I have it go back up to E. Damn. Hard. Next up, we got our snare. As you guys can see, I dropped it from C to A just to create more of like a deeper hit. It's hitting on the three as always. And then I added an open hat. Basically use this as like a crash, but I wanted it to hit on every 808 except like our, the ones that hit on E. So I just wanted it to go so. And it doesn't hit on the E one. That's just to kind of open it up a little bit more. For the hi-hats, you want to typically keep these just two-step. I learned this from my boy Playboy, man. I had a session with him in Evergreen one day and I was going crazy on the hi-hats and they were like, bro, you got to just you know what I'm saying? Just keep them two steps. So shout out to my boy Playboy and shout out to Evergreen too, man. And we got a laser in here. And this 808 and uh, Perkins, some of these sounds can be uh, in my Celestial drum kit. If you guys want to go check that out. Next up, we got this right here. It's a little low laser. Just real subtle. Next up, I went ahead and added this little rim. I moved it up and I messed with the velocities just kind of create that like Detroit sound. So yeah, this is what it sounds like with the melodies. So yeah, so that was that for the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video with a friend. I recently just dropped a loop kit called After Hours. It contains 40 different style loops. If you guys want to go check that out, available on drumify.com. I would appreciate it a lot. As always, I love y'all, man. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, at Chase Vibes, and I'm out.